Hey folks, it's me, Brian, and this is what I'm drinking tonight. I'm having J.P. Chenette's Rosé. Believe it or not, this is the first Rosé that I'm having in my entire life, so I don't know what to expect. The label says that it is 60% uh, Grenache, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and 40% uh, Croissant. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. Those are French words, probably French grapes. I'm gonna have to look it up and maybe leave the uh, description of that in the, the definition of that in the description of this video. It's 12.5% alcohol by volume. It's a twist off cap. It's a small, 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 small bottle. So great if I don't like it, I've been uh, wasted a lot of rosé wine so let's crack this one open folks comes out of france that's why i'm saying these words like they are french like chenet instead of chenette here's what it looks like now i did print out a description of this and uh before i, I get to the wine let's go over this description here's what the, here's what you get on the website and it's interesting, it has this bottle, which is, has a weird shape on the internet, and it's uh, perfectly straight here. It's like the top of it is curved on the internet picture. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, uh, like I said, there's two great varieties, Grenache and Sin Salt. It says that is a French wine that stands out above the fray, it's a unique bottle. See, I, I'm not finding that unique bottle. The bottle is, is like any other bottle. Maybe if I get the bigger version, uh, 70, 70, uh, 750 milliliter version, maybe that bottle has that crooked top. It reveals a piece of authenticity and savoir that many others have tried to imitate. Thanks to the brilliant work of our partner wine growers and passionate winemakers, J.P. Chanette, wines make happy, millions of taste buds across the world all right so let's skip through some of these other things talking about the grapes and how they matured and blah 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 and where they are in europe tasting style fresh and fruity expressive that's an interesting way to describe a beverage expressive since they don't really talk or have body language Color, pale pink, brilliant, slightly salmon. Now, I didn't know salmon was a color, but this is pale pink. I don't know about brilliant. I guess you could say it's brilliant. And it is a, a salmon color. It is salmon color. Uh, primary aromas, red fruits, fresh. Now, it also said on the internet, uh, strawberry. And secondary aromas, English sweets. I don't know what that is. I don't know what is sweet in England that they have something specifically called English sweets. I guess someone could look that up and tell me. Uh, let's get to it, folks. Let's see about these aromas. Okay, it has a sweet smelling aroma. Hmm, it's interesting. It almost smells like a Hmm. Like Merlot almost. It definitely smells sweet. It actually smells kind of cheap. Like cheap wines kind of smell like this. Some orange. I'm not really picking up strawberry. But it has a fruity aroma. So let's give it a taste. Prost, my friends. So let's start off with the mouthfeel. It is light, nearly watery. Very, very disappointed at that. Nearly watery. I know it's not gonna be full body like a Merlot or expensive like red wine, but this is really watery, watery folks. And the taste, it is dry and crisp. 
I will say that. I think it said that on the paper. Well, no, it doesn't say it here. I saw it somewhere that it was dry and crisp. It is dry. It's not sweet. It smells sweet, but it's not sweet at all. Don't get much, uh, uh, much like honey or um, a fruit, fruit sweetness to it. Fruit taste, I kind of get a little. Now I'm saying just a little fruity taste. It's, it's particularly bland. I, I think it's really bland. Now, I don't have a lot of experience in rosé. They all may taste like this. They all may be so watery and give just a hint of fruit flavor and not much sweetness. But this one has all of that and I, I probably would not drink this again. Um, it has a decent ABV, 12.5% alcohol by volume. But there's not much flavor here. It's kind of dry, kind of dry, kind of bland and kind of dry. It actually tastes as if someone had like a, a sparkling wine and just kind of let it set out for a long time and it got flat. It has a flat taste to it, like a flat soda taste to it. So like, you know, you can have a soda with carbonation and a good sweet taste and it would still taste sweet when it's flat, but it's just flat kind of like takes away from the flavor and that's what this is like. It, if it was sparkling, it probably would taste better. Maybe that should be what I look for next, a sparkling rosé in the rosé category. But I'm definitely going to try another rosé because I'm going to have to have something to compare this one to to make sure that I'm not criticizing a particular wine style for its inherent characteristics. Now, if they're all supposed to be bland and slightly fruity, I mean, just slightly fruity, not sweet at all, and dry and crisp, then, you know, so be it. But if they're all not like that, I'm gonna have to give this one the thumbs down. So the jury's still out. They're still deliberating. How about that? The jury is still deliberating on this one. I'm not going to give it a rating. That would be not fair at all. I haven't heard all the evidence. I haven't heard the other side's case. So I'm going to reserve judgment and critique it properly on my next Rose video. So there you have it, folks. I'm sorry I left you with a cliffhanger. I usually don't do that. But at least you know how this tastes. And if it, if I'm reading it correctly, if I'm seeing this correctly, tasting it correctly, and this is how all rosés are supposed to taste, please let me know in the comments. If I'm wrong and they're not supposed to taste like this, then tell me what you think of how I've described it. Is that thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm pretty sure you're gonna say thumbs down. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you're back, welcome back. Thanks for your support. Stay safe, stay sane, and I will see you on the next video.